Hello everyone, Pastor George here for our Thursday mailbag. And again, this one isn't a technical mailbag, right? I didn't get this email, but it was something I was asked after Bible study yesterday. And I think it's important to talk about because this is something <laughs> I've given grief people, uh, given grief to people about in the past. And also uh, something, you know, jokingly, um, I should say that if I give you grief about this, it isn't because I'm angry or upset or whatever. Um, but just because I think it's a fun thing to do and a good way to talk about our faith. But I, we were talking about St. Patrick's Day, and I asked uh, the seniors, because it was something to do with seniors, and I said, well, you guys are going to wear orange, right? And they were all like, and I was like, well, you should. And then they asked, why? Why Why should we wear orange, or why is orange you know, the color? And I said, well, because Protestants in Ireland wear orange. And so uh, just to explain why that is, right? Why is it that color? Uh, you know, uh, and what does that mean? Well, I love history, so this is great. So the reason it's orange is because the history of Ireland is uh, a contentious one, to say the least. And I, I feel like, you know, there's big, obviously, for the people who grew up, uh, you know, in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, you know, even though we're not British, I mean, I know we actually do have one British congregant, um, but you uh, uh, you know, maybe I'm sure you guys heard about the Troubles, right, which is happening, which were happening in Ireland, which was the um, Irish Republicans, who are people who wanted to leave Great Britain and, and take Northern Ireland, which is still a part of the United Kingdom, and make it part of a united Ireland, right? So the a whole island is is just one country. Um, we're using violence to try and break away. And then uh, other groups, unionists who want to keep a part of it, used violence to, to fight back and stuff like that, right? And a lot of this is about both cultural and religious difference in Ireland. A lot of it has to do with Protestantism and Catholicism. Now, to be fair to Catholicism, and I think fair to ourselves, a lot of this was ended up kind of being very cultural and very tribal. If you actually ask the IRA members who were bombing things, or the Ulster Volunteer Force, which were the Protestant group that were bombing things, they would have probably not, like they would have gone to church, would have gone to mass, probably, you know, once in a while, but probably were not very religious in the sense of like, you know, knowing their Westminster catechism, because most Protestants in Ireland are, are Presbyterian. Um, and so, you know, they're, they're not going to know that type of thing, because it's kind of like their tribe. That's what they're kind of fighting for, right? And that's not not a good thing. I'm not saying any bombing of civilians is appropriate, even if people are bombing you, right? Um, but like, why did the Irish and the Green become such a, there's a great folk song, Irish folk song on Irish and the Green. Um, but uh, uh, why, uh, the orange and the green, why did the orange and the green become so, uh, you know, you were on colors? Well, green was always kind of the, the uh, color of Ireland associated with the clover, things like that. But orange um, is is a specific one because it's, it's done for the Prince William of Orange, who was uh, one of the kings that was brought in um, to replace a Catholic monarch in Great Britain. So there was lots of fighting in the United Kingdom. I'm not going to bore you with all the history. Essentially, you know, the way it would work is it was like the first was King Henry VIII, and he was a Protestant, and then his daughter Mary, and she was a Catholic, and then Queen Elizabeth, and Edward, uh, or Edward and then Mary, I guess, who's, but Edward was not around for a long time. Um, and then it would kind of go back and forth, and it ended up with James, King James, who wasn't, a Catholic, but was very like a come Anglo Catholic, like trying to get some traditions put back into the Anglican Church, thrown out, right? Thrown out of of England, um, and then you have like a, pro, a, a Puritan Republic come come up, which is under Oliver Cromwell, and then when he dies, they invite a king back, which is called the Great Restoration, and they invited this this Prince of Orange, who was Dutch, um, to come and take the throne, right? And the color of orange, of this place in, in Germany, what is now Germany, is orange. Um, and so uh, they uh, the, it became the color that Protestants would, would associate with because the Catholics in Ireland rose up in rebellion and were put down by now King William, right? And so it ended up being associated with, you know, loyalty to the crown and, and, and Protestantism, right? And so that's why orange is the color. Now, Today, the reason I want you guys to today is not to make some stance about Ireland. Okay, I, I'm sure I don't even know if we any of you have stances. If you want it to be part of the United Kingdom, great. If you want it to be its own republic, that's great too. Um, but we're not doing it to make any sort of political stance. 
Um, but rather, I want people to kind of be proud of their Protestant heritage. And this is like one of the few holidays that it actually enables you to do that, right? Um, besides True Reformation Sunday, of course. And so uh, it, it's good, I think, to wear orange um, and to have it out it's because it's a really good conversation starter. Um, and you don't have, you know, you don't have to be rude of anyone or anything like that. But it, it's it's a good way to remind people and even like have people find out why you, sh you know, because in you know traditional way that I, that. St. Patrick's Day has been celebrated in the United States, you're never to wear orange, right? And that's because it was mainly a Catholic Irish holiday, right? Before it became blown out into a more national one. And the reason is, is because Protestants wear orange, but you can, no one's ever, no one ever knows that. And so now you can actually tell that that's the color you're supposed to wear. Um, supposed to wear, okay? Just, you don't have to, just to highly encourage. Uh, and, uh, you know, just a good way to talk about your faith and share it with people and to be a little proud of your spiritual ancestors, because even though I'm not Irish, you know, I can still be proud to be a Protestant. Okay. All right. You all have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. I will see you this Sunday for True Reformation uh, Sunday, and uh, you guys can have a good uh, St. Patrick's Day next week. Peace out.